Hi, in this video of GIMP Beginner's Guide, we continue exploring our preferences. Go to Edit, Preferences. We reached two options. Now the first option here is Save Tools, Options on Exit. What this means is that every time you adjust your options on your tools and you exit GIMP, if this is unchecked, the two options will return to default state. Now, if you're working on some big project that will take days and you want to keep your brushes, for example, you are creating some digital art, some graphics, and you want to keep your options, the tools, you, you might want to check this box. So just know that it's here and it's available. Now, the next thing is save two options now. If you have uh, some settings that you want to save, you can do this immediately by going to preferences, two options, save two options now. You can also always reset save two options to default values. If you sometimes there are problems with some of the tools, you might want to do something and it's not working right. Probably is because some of the options of the tools are set to something and you don't know what it is. So have in mind that you can reset your save two options from here. Now, the next thing is guiding and grid snapping, snap distance. Now, your guide, your um, grid is available from view, show grid, snap to grid. And uh, let me zoom in a little bit. If you select, for example, a uh, uh, rectangular select tool, and you see how it is snapping to these grids. Now, here <coughs> you can select the snap distance. So this is the number of pixels that this tool is snapping to. You can change that number if you like. Now, the next uh, <coughs> option is uh, scaling, default interpolation. Uh, this is the method used to scale. The lower you go here, the better, but uh, it uses a little bit more time. So it's entirely up to you. Probably this is the best method, but <coughs> cubic also works fine. Now the next thing we'll talk about is paint option shared between tools. This is really important and might come in handy. For example, uh, in your brush tools, if you select a brush tool and all the tools which have brushes, for example, clone tool, heel tool, paint brush tool, pencil tool, all these have brushes and when you change the brush here, that affects all of them. You might want to uncheck this or leave it checked it depends it's entirely up to you the same goes with the tools uh, which use patterns or gradients so for example you have settings for a brush tool uh, and you don't want them to change you want to keep them while you're erasing something you might want to come here and uncheck this box now the next thing is set layer or path as active uh, by using the move tool. Now, uh, if you grab your move tool, and let's say you you are on your background layer is active, and you want to grab this layer, this circle here, and move it. Once you release it, the background uh, layer will uh, remain active, which means that <coughs> this is the layer you, are, uh, you will be affecting. Uh, if you check this box, every time you move a layer, that layer will become and also remain active. Now this is entirely a matter of habit so 
it's entirely up to you if you want to check or uncheck this leave it unchecked I work like that it's fine but if you want to make uh, the uh, the layer that you're moving active and remain active you can check this box